Hey guys, this is Steve again, SitherTech.com, and today I'm doing another demo of our APC here. Um, it's right next to our CCM, which is um, one of three of our most recent new projects that we have here. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is kind of how the APC can work with another oscillator. What I'm doing is I'm using my SitherTech 16 step uh, sequencer here to drive uh, some control voltage and that's going in to uh, the tip top oscillator here. Now I'm going to turn up just the oscillator for now so you can hear what the sequence is doing. Okay so that is the sound of the sine wave of the oscillator. Okay what I've done here is I've taken the triangle wave out of the oscillator and I have patched that into CV1 of uh, the APC. Um, also coming out of control voltage, uh, this is where the control voltage from the 16 steps is coming in. I'm taking some control voltage out of there and bringing that also into control CV2. So you can kind of hear how that sounds and I'll blend them together. Okay, I'm turning down just the sine wave off the oscillator, bringing up the APC. Okay, that's going to be in tune uh, because this oscillator outputting this frequency, if it goes into the APC, the APC also produces that same frequency, but you can modify the sounds. You get some ring mod sounds, um, and also some filter effects when you adjust CV1. Um, right now, I'm going to have just CV2 plugged in, and that's coming off of just the control voltage. So you can see how it sounds different than the oscillator because it's not one volt per octave unless you have a frequency going in there. Okay, this is the this is this is the APC by itself. So you can kind of hear how it's playing the same same uh, sequence. And this is the oscillator by itself. Bring the APC up. So right there, we just had the APC and the oscillator being fed the same control voltage from my sequencer, and you can tell that the pitch is uh, not matching that perfectly. Um, but if you did, like I said, uh, have just going into CV2, um, what one of the uh, one of the the waveforms out of the of the oscillator, it will be perfectly in pitch. So let's just unplug this from the control voltage, and we're gonna have uh, just. Uh, into CV, CV2 is kind of what drives it to be in pitch with the other uh, device that's kicking you away from. So we're going to plug this into CV2. Can you see how that sounds? Okay, that's 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 the sine wave, and then this is the uh, APC. So now, if we fiddle with the knobs here, we'll get some different effects. Uh, like an octavizing here. But notice it's still in tune. Can really be a good LFO. Nice chunky square wave, low notes. To me, it sounds like a ring, kind of a ring mod effect here. So there's a lot of ways of integrating this into your setup. You can use it for noise by itself. It'll make some weird LFO kind of noises. Um, it able, enables you to kind of move the pitch here of the square wave. 
uh, and get some octave effects as or it, it'll actually go down in, in, in probably like five or six octaves. Um, there's also some kind of filtering effects too that you can do off it. So it ends up being a really great way of modifying your sound and adding it to another track. Thanks for watching.